Looking for Lost Thunder singles? Check out FullGroupGames.com. We've got tons of Lost Thunder stuff. Just been all day opening Lost Thunder. We've got tons of stuff available on FullGroupGames.com. Go check it out. What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be playing a PTCGO tournament today. Last tournament before Lost Thunder is released, and I'm giving Vika Ray one last ride here. It's been my favorite deck in standard format. Been playing it pretty consistently since the beginning of the season, and Vika Ray has just been a staple in standard format this entire season so far. Starting off the year with a special event victory, and then continuing to place consistently in the top 32, top 16, and even top 8 of regional championships so far this year. It's a great deck, and I'm excited to see if it can weather the storm that is Lost Thunder, which is going to be legal in the upcoming weeks and is released here on PTCGO this week. So excited about that. Uh, from now on, I am going to be doing Lost Thunder only decks. So I'm really excited about that. Going to be playing a bunch of Lost Thunder decks here on PTCGO, as well as tabletop games. Now we start off with a Cynthia. We got a Grass Energy. Looks like we might be playing against some sort of Fire and Psychic deck, it looks like. So we'll just go for the turn one Cynthia hope we draw into an ultra ball here we got one so that's good but we don't really have a backup supporter I'm also not sure if I'm playing against some sort of uh, potentially um, you know shrine deck or anything like that I think I saw like B strings I actually have no idea what I am playing against so I'll ultra ball away the Guzma and the Shining Lugia. I can always Tempest, I guess, and we're just gonna go get a Grubbin. I don't think that there's any point in, uh, I guess I could wait till next turn and get a Lele and then like get a, a Fan Club and then get Grubbin and Marshadow. I think I'll probably just get the Grubbin here and bench it just in case I top deck a Supporter or something like that. And then we're just gonna pass to my opponent, see what they got going on on their side of the field. Really excited about Lost Thunder decks though. I have a lot of different concepts and ideas I want to try out. Uh, looks like we are playing against a Malamar Ultra Necrozma deck. So should be a pretty decent matchup here, kind of trading these very big one hit KOs. And my opponent's also playing weakness policy. So I'm interested as to why they're playing weakness policy or what that might be for. Uh, usually Ultra Necrozma's fairy weakness is not uh, something that we're super, super concerned about. So let's see, we are unfortunately going to have to discard this energy recycler here. I don't have any energy in the discard pile. I could have, you know, ultra balled away this grass energy, but I wanted to keep it just so I could manually attach it from hand this turn. So I think uh, the possibility of milling that Rayquaza and then maybe hitting my other energy recycler is too devastating and I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to attach here and Tempest. Uh, just ditch my other Rayquaza, ditch that switch as well. And we're gonna draw a fresh hand of 10 here, uh, which is fantastic. And we see my first three cards, I did have the second energy recycler in there. So that could have been pretty devastating if I had milled that other one and could have prevented me from winning the game outright. We have a Vika Volt, but the question is, do we have a knockout on a 190 hit point Ultra Necrozma? Probably not. Looks like that is gonna be much more difficult for me to get. My opponent plays Tate and Liza. They've got a bunch of interesting cards in their deck, like Energy Retrieval, Weakness Policy, but it does appear that they do actually play Malamar as well. This could be the more Beast Ring oriented list uh, that maybe only plays like a 3-3, Malamar line or a 2-2 Malamar line and opts to play more copies of Beast Ring uh, to accelerate energy. So this is kind of a yikes uh, from me for sure. I probably should have just benched that other Rayquaza. I don't really know why I tempest that away, but I thought that maybe I'd hit my rescue stretcher, but what's the point of doing that? Uh, I think I wanted to save it so that I could potentially rescue stretcher and then accelerate with the ability was kind of my thought, I think. Uh, I think that's what I was doing. All right, so let's Valkner. We're going to get ourselves a rare candy, 
and then also I guess a lightning energy and then I'll still be able to strong charge twice that's fine I got a Lele in hand so I can use that as my supporter for turn next turn let's just go ahead and evolve that Vika Volt there good to go then I can also I guess I could like you know ultra ball switch and attack with somebody fresh I think that that could be good so that I don't I don't just lose two energy next turn that definitely could be something worth doing so let's ultra ball away I guess a grass two grass yeah that's fine we're gonna ultra ball those away and then we're gonna go get ourselves another Rayquaza here our last ray in deck that's cool so we can get that we can accelerate and I've already played my Volkner, so that's fine. We have our Energy Recycler in hand, so I don't have to worry about milling that. We can just go ahead and do this. Then I could Strong Charge the two. I'm actually just 10 damage short of getting a knockout here, so that's kind of tough. Um, able to hit for 180, but not 190, so yikes. That's fine. Uh, we could poke the thing with a Lele and then go in with a Fresh Ray next turn. Uh, I'm actually also just fine, you know, promoting something like a Grubbin, forcing a non-GX, uh, you know, prize or whatever, and then kind of going in and just taking full one-hit knockouts afterwards. So let's Strong Charge. Yeah, we're just going to Strong Charge twice. I guess I can just hit into this thing with a Damaged Ray, let my opponent take two prizes. That's just kind of... I don't really want to do that though, you know? Um, yeah, we'll attach two to the bench tier. And then it's just a tough call. I mean, I don't think that my opponent's gonna have like a Guzma knockout on anything really. I don't really suspect that they will. But do I just hit this thing for 180? That feels really bad. Uh, and give them two pri prizes? That feels really, really bad. I don't think that I necessarily do. So I think I would rather just promote the grub in and go from there. I'm going to do that. All right, so we're going to do that. I'm going to switch and just let my opponent kind of knock this thing out and just pass to them. And this is kind of a, it's an interesting play. I just really don't want to hit this thing for 190 and give up two prizes. I think next turn, I'm better off just taking a guaranteed one hit knockout. I've got a Guzma in my hand. I know I can do that. Uh, it's just no problem for me. They probably, you know, Oh, I was going to say, they might have Guzma in hand. They did just use that Alter of the Moon to retreat for free. And I was like, oh, man, I'm about to get punished for doing that. But it's all good. I still would have had uh, potentially enough to knock out that uh, Ultra Necrozma next turn. I made sure that if they knocked out this Rayquaza that I would be able to knock it out. That's why I put the Lightning Energy over here on the Vika Volt. So if they did have Guzma to knock out that Rayquaza... Still had four energy in play and was going to be able to easily respond. So this is an interesting decision for me. I think at this point I just need to trade. I need to knock out both these Ultra Necrozmas and just kind of not miss a beat from here on out. I'm going to promote the Fresh Rayquaza GX and then just go for a supporter. So let's go ahead and do that. Attach my energy to the Vika Volt. And we're just going to, you know, draw cards with like a Cynthia or something like that. So that's cool. Let's go get, what, Cynthia? Probably. I don't really need all those cards in my hand. Lily's fan clubs. It doesn't really do me too much either. I think we want to draw. Actually, interestingly enough, I could get a Volkner to get that rescue stretcher if I had a Volkner in my deck, which I don't. So it looks like we're going to try and go in with the Cynthia here is probably the best way to do that. I just want that rescue stretcher back, honestly. That's kind of like the biggest thing for me right now. So we're going to Cynthia and hope that we just draw into it. We did not. That's all good. Uh, and I waited to do the strong charge until like after in case I did hit the rescue stretcher. I obviously want to strong charge to a Rayquaza if at all possible. But at this point, I should just have enough energy in play that I can kind of just win this game almost no matter what happens. I think uh, I just need to hit that energy recycler on the turn that I need it. And then I also would like to get my Ray out of the discard pile 
probably a little greedy just discarding that in the opening hand, just thinking that I would hit my one of Rescue Stretcher, but it's all good. My opponent's got the copycat, gonna copy my big hand here of eight cards, shuffle draw eight, that's good. They finally get a Malamar into play as well. And it looks like they play a Macargo in their list. That's what I thought I saw fire on their deck list as well. So it looks like they are playing Ultra Necrozma, Malamar, Macargo. Uh, for me personally, that's a little bit too much evolutions, I think, a little too much going on, I think, for a Malamar list. I want something more streamlined, honestly. And that's part of what I love about Lost Thunder as well, is that you will actually have an easier time playing multiple stage ones in decks because of Ditto Prism Star. Such a crazy card. Love Ditto Prism Star. Such a good card. And it's going to be uh, just an incredible addition to standard format. Really excited about that. So I can just bring up that Ultra Necrozma and knock it out, no problems. I'm not really worried about it at all. So let's just do that. And uh, let's see, we are going to Guzma up that thing. Do I wanna hit with the damaged one? I guess that's fine. Uh, I could just save the fresh one, accelerate one more energy into play. 369, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. I can safely put that onto the Beagle Vault, no problem. And then I'll just Guzma up this thing and knock it out. With my damage Rayquaza, that's fine, I guess. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and scoop, so. Cool stuff, we got there, game one. Now, uh, I also, in this video, want to, let's see, I got 14 minutes left. You could use other areas of the game while you wait and you'll receive a notification. Awesome stuff. I was going to say, there's a lot of packs that I want to open. So let's uh, let's go check out my packs and I guess it'll notify me when, uh, when I'm ready to go for the next round, right? So I, oh, I have a, a lot of these coins. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the coins and I wanted to buy like heart gold, soul silver stuff. So that'll be fun. Let's do that. Let's go to the shop, shoppy shop. Cool. Uh, and we can buy a bunch of heart gold, soul silver stuff. I've been saving up my coins here, haven't been spending them on nothing. So let's see, we can get some heart gold, soul silver packs. Uh, we can get like 10 of those. Let's redeem, confirm, cool. And then let's get like, I don't know, 10 of these. <laughs> uh, if we can't, we can't get 10 of those. We could get seven of those. Okay, cool. So we got 17 heart gold soul silver era packs that I'm trying to open. Let's go ahead and crack those while we wait. Give us a little something to do there and see what we can get. I actually have no idea. I like I, I've opened this stuff before. I just uh, have completely forgotten what's in them. I'm pretty sure that and I know there's prime Pokemon. I just forget which prime Pokemon are in which sets. That's just something that I never remember. Nice little reverse rainbow energy there is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. And then let's see what else we get. I don't think that the, uh, I'm not sure if the energy, the cool energy are in these packs. Maybe they are, maybe the reverse ones are. I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's a different set from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era, so I don't think that I'm going to be getting any of those. But we are getting some pretty sweet rainbow energies there. I also like the Heart Gold Soul Silver trainers, just like the switch cards, really cool. And I think there's like a Judge from this era as well, which is awesome. We got Poke Gear, that sweet Professor Elm's training method. Ooh, we got a Ho Oh Legend card. That's awesome. It's my first one. Pretty pretty cool stuff. Love that. Very shiny. Very beautiful. Awesome. Let's open another, see what we get. Now, I'm not going to be able to trade any of these cards, unfortunately, because, oh, we can get the energy. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Sweet. Uh, I'm not going to be able to trade any of these cards since I bought them from the store. They're locked to my account, but awesome stuff. I would like to be able to build up decks from these eras. Uh, that would be a lot of fun, and I think that that would be something sweet to be able to show off on the channel eventually if I could eventually get enough uh, cards from this era and also have a friend maybe who had enough cards from this era to be able to play the heart gold soul silver era stuff uh, that would be sweet i think it's called like legacy format or something like that i think legacy would be a lot of fun to get into and speaking of legacy i had the base neo tournament oh that's awesome we got ourselves a dc that's my second one love it uh two away from a playset 
We showed off those base Neo decks on the channel this past week. That was a lot of fun as well. Hopefully you got a chance to check out the vlog, the base Neo vlog. The tournament was an incredible experience. Shout out to all my friends who showed up and participated. That was a great time. And then also, um, just uh, check out the tabletop gameplay as well. Just uploaded the top four match between me and Will, and I'm really proud of how that turned out. I think it turned out awesome. So make sure to check those out if you have not already. The old formats are just an absolute blast to get into, and I just love how cool the cards look. I think they look really, really sweet. And it's nice seeing cards just from a different era and kind of the history of how things have evolved over time. That is a goofy looking Entei on the front of that package. Not gonna lie, the thing is definitely, definitely goofy looking. We've got ourselves a nice rare candy there, love it. And a Firo and a Ursaring. Very cool, all right. See, we got in the next one opening some Unleashed packs, so. That should be interesting. Got a Buizel. Check that out. A Buizel plus power. Cheerleaders cheer. And a Beedrill. Cool. Metang. Did that Metagross uh, event weekend on Pokemon Go the other weekend. That was a lot of fun. We've got the, what, the Gengar one coming up? Not the Gengar. Is it the Gengar one? Uh, maybe a Gengar one coming up, which is going to be a lot of fun as well. Got a Dual Ball there. Very cool. Dual Ball is still... Uh, is dual ball playable? No, it's not dual ball, it's timer ball. I was going to say, dual ball is a card that has seen play throughout the history of the game, but it's not legal anymore. But that kind of flip two effect has been a thing throughout the history of the game. There's Pokemon Breeder Fields all the way back. We got a Judge, it's awesome. And we got four copies of that Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Triumphant Judge. Awesome stuff. Open another pack. Let's see, we got a couple more remaining. Very cool, and we got a Turtwig, awesome, and Dual Ball again, and oh yeah, we got the Raikou and Suicune Legend, uh, the Suicune half, so we just need the Raikou half now, that would be awesome, so two Legends open so far, these cards are awesome, just very, very cool additions to the collection, uh, the Legend cards you had to play both halves at once when you played them from your hand, so pretty unique, uh, you know, pretty unique mechanic there for the Pokemon trading card game. It was definitely a lot of fun. Awesome stuff. Let's see, I still got eight minutes left and have not been called back to my match. And we got packs here to crack, guys. So let's get cracking. I mean, I, this stuff's just been sitting in my account forever. So I'm cool with that. Let's uh, get, get some Burning Shadows action going and see if they eventually call me in to my match and move on. Two top four of this uh, standard format PTCGO tournament. All right, nothing there. Burning Shadows, I guess we can get a Charizard. And speaking of Charizards, did you guys see those awesome secret rare Pokemon packs? Uh, they come with a shiny uh, Pokemon in them. I think there's like 90 shiny Pokemon or something crazy like that in these packs. They're from Japan right now. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot about them. I've just been seeing uh, pictures of the cards circulating on the internet. They look absolutely amazing. We got a Salazzle GX, fourth one, very cool. Very, very cool. But these have uh, look absolutely stunning. And there's a Secret Rare Charizard, and I really want the Japanese Secret Rare Charizard. He is super cool. He's shiny. He's like black and blue and stuff. The card looks absolutely amazing. But apparently, these packs are just like completely sold out uh, in PTCGO, or sold out in Japan. So they're going to be very difficult to get a hold of. Let's see. Can I go back to the tournament here? How's that work? Oh, it just uh, blasts me back. So that's awesome. Okay, so we're playing against Zach with his Dragon Colorless deck. Let's see how we do. But yes, I really, really want some of these uh, Japanese shiny secret rare cards. They look incredible. I think that they're very hard to get a hold of, though. Apparently, they come out this week, but they are pretty much sold out everywhere. Oh, no, we have got a Shining Lugia start with absolutely nothing else going on, but my opponent does have a Mulligan hand, so maybe they're going to bring it back to me here. They've got an Altaria GX deck. Not going to lie, I have no idea what this Altaria GX uh, even does. I remember looking at it one time, and I wasn't super impressed, so maybe my opponent will prove me wrong here. 
by beating me with the Altaria deck. I do get my Mulligan, so let's take that and hope that it buffs out. Just like an Ultra Ball is really all I need here. Or a Supporter off the top would be great too. Uh, yes, I would like both. Yes, Ultra Ball, fantastic. We can play now, that's great. My opponent starts with two Swablus here. Very cool artwork on the Swab Blues we've got. <laughs> this one is goofy. Look at this dude, man. I cannot believe that that is a real card. All right. And what's with the Swab Blues split? What does this one do? This one calls collect. This one can call C-O-L-L-E-C-T. This one knows how to sing. So very cool. And then my opponent has got, uh, oh, yes, the Prism Star. Okay. So they've got Latios Prism Star. It does 50 damage for each your evolution dragon Pokemon in play. So they should be able to get themselves a pretty decent amount of dragon Pokemon in play. We've got ourselves another Lugia, which I think I just benched just to have another Pokemon. And then I think I want to go Ultra. I, this is like kind of greedy. Um, I think I, oh, this is not greedy at all. Okay. I go Ultra Ball here and I get rid of these. And then I go for Lele and I go for the fan club. And I'm going to fan club for a Ray and for um, a Grubbin. Yep. So let's do that. And then we're going to switch into the Ray and Tempest. I wish that I could let loose my opponent right now. That's just not really a responsible option. I don't want to let loose myself to four and then not draw out of it. So I think I am just going to get the Ray and Tempest. Hope that they don't have a valid response to it. And that's, uh, that's what we got going on. So let's just mill, yup, and see if we mill any Pokemon. We didn't, okay, so that's fine. Attach the lightning, switch, and throw that right into the active position. Tempest GX, so let's do that. See if my opponent can limit my hand. Hopefully they ain't got nothing like that going on. We've got a great hand here off the Tempest. We've got the Vika Vault. We've got ourselves a Marshadow to let loose with everything that I could put, uh, potentially want. They've got a Devoured Field out here, so that's cool. They're going to increase their damage output by 10. Then, let's see, they've got Alteria GX. Does this increase my damage output? The attacks of Dark and Dragon Pokemon. Oh, yeah, I do 10 more damage. Great. So they've got themselves Alteria. Finally, we can take a look at this thing. Bright Tone. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon GX and EX. Oh, well, good thing I've got the Lugias out here. I was thinking that that might not be very good. Sonic Edge. This attack is not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Alrighty then, I see that you have used your Bright Tone, and then Euphoria GX, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep, heal all damage from all your Pokemon. That is extremely annoying. Okay, so we're good to go. This thing's weak to Fairy. All right, I believe we can do it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and they've got this. Wow. Okay, I see what they're trying to do here. I do see what they're trying to do. So they've got a three card hand. I am not going to be using my Marshadow. Uh, and I'm also not gonna be using this Lily, I don't think. That just, uh, but I don't wanna get rid of like all my draw card options. I would rather probably, I actually don't even think I'm gonna be using this Rayquaza all too much. I think like that's probably a bad idea because they're just gonna use that bright tone like every single turn. So we're gonna get rid of these and then probably Guzma seems like the best bet. So let's go get ourselves our Beaka Vault. Good deal. We can rare candy into Beaka Vault and then I can like knock out that Altaria there that seems like a good play. So let's strong charge onto one of our, ooh, we are low on energy already. Very good. And by very good, I mean not good at all. Okay, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna goose up that thing, knock it out with this Shining Lugia. It's got an ability, we're doing 120 damage, busted, cool. And uh, yeah, we're kind of just happy with that. So let's Argent Wing, knock that thing out. We definitely don't want my opponent doing that uh, bright uh, whatever, bright tone for tons of damage. If they start two hit KOing Rayquaza GXs with bright tone, it's gonna be bad news. They send up the Latios though, so it looks like they're going to be able to Dragon Fleet here for 150 damage, that's doing a lot. Not really excited about that. Uh, and then they can Sonic Edge and actually knock out this Rayquaza. So they're gonna be doing pretty good here. 
uh, which is not great for me. I can, uh, like I said, knock out the Latios, I guess, with this Rayquaza, but that's just like an ultimate feel bad situation because I know that this thing is coming back up for that Sonic Edge. But uh, if they do Sonic Edge, I could potentially knock it out with a, um, I could potentially knock it out with a Rayquaza because they didn't use the Bright uh, attack or whatever. So we can see how difficult this deck could possibly be to take down for sure. Uh, just very good against this Rayquaza deck. So interesting stuff there from my opponent. Never, ever played against this deck, not going to lie. So interesting, interesting stuff. All right. Now, we are not going to be able to get four energy onto the Shining Lugia, so let's go up with the Rayquaza. We have to kind of admit defeat here. That's bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, we could Volkner, I guess. That feels bad, too. I think that we just... Uh, that can do 150 damage. I guess I, you know, I wasn't going to be able to get four energy onto that Vika Volt. I know that already. It uh, looks like Volkner is probably going to be the best bet here. Uh, Lily just seems kind of underwhelming. So let's Volkner. And then I think we need to get an Ultra Ball in order to help things out. Uh, oh, I also might need a, yeah, a recharge. That actually seems pretty good too. So we might, we might need the energy recharge. Let's see. I can accelerate one energy into play. Three, six, nine. Uh, and then I have, oh, yikes. Uh, three, six, nine, and then attach from hand, 12. So I actually need the energy recharge. Cool. And then that's it. Yeah, I have plenty of energy in my hand. So we're just going to get that energy recycler and deal with that. That is not optimal, but that's just what we got going on. We got too many energy in the discard pile. Got to throw them back into the deck. So let's do one, two, three, four, uh, three, four, and five. Cool. So we'll throw all those back in. I actually think that we want another, let's see, we just one lightning? No, nah, we'll do two lightning. Okay, that's fine, yep. So now we got three and three in the deck, so we can strong charge three more times, that's good. I think I want an energy here, and then I want to strong charge, and we're gonna throw an energy on my active ray, and onto the benched Shining Lugia. I guess it just all feels bad, though. It all feels bad, because even like, Oh my gosh, I'm just like so on the back foot right now. This is not good. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna knock this thing out and go down to four prizes. My opponent's gonna go down to three, so that's not great. But we do have Rayquaza in hand now, so that's better. Uh, but knowing that this, uh, knowing that this Ray is just like gonna bite it is really tough. Uh, really not good for me at all. And the fact that they just have that Euphoria GX is so bad for me as well. They didn't attach an energy, so they might actually not get the energy, but they, I think the Bright Tone still knocks me out. It does. So that's actually like better for them, right? They could just like Bright Tone, knock me out, and then I know that they can Sonic Edge and knock out the Shining Lugia. So that's like horrible. That's just horrible. Okay, so I think we do just 60 damage here. That's just all we want to do. Just 60 damage. That's it. And uh, we have to just hope that my opponent kind of slows their roll here because that is just doing way too much. Okay. So we actually can shuffle in six more energy with this. I think I want to mill first. So we're going to mill first. That's fine. Let's do that. Yup. Let's mill. And short. All good. And now we have five energy in the discard pile. That's great. I can energy recycler, throw all those back in. One, two, three, four, and five. And then if my opponent decides to do their, uh, you know, I want them, if they decide to Sonic Edge, I want them to get knocked out. That's kind of like my thought. So I think I do strong charge here first. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Uh, we can do one and one, and we're going to throw those onto my ray there and just get him started to get beefed up, ready to go. Then I guess we, uh, I guess we just have to Lily this turn, and I kind of have to bench that. Let's Lily for four, get four new cards. All right, we've got Volkner, we've got some Vika Volts with nothing else going on, and that's fine. And we'll just hit this thing, um, that's, that's okay. And I guess, a 60 plus 130, that's actually horrible math, I am short, so they could just like, bright, you know, bright tone me. I should have put one energy probably onto my Vika Volt. 
I'm just like grinding things out here. I really wanted to like draw into a Guzma or something off of that Lily so that I could get around this thing next turn if I had to. But uh, I guess I'm kind of anticipating them knocking out the Shining Lugia. But if they only poke me for, you know, 70 with Bright Tone, then I guess uh, we don't even get a knockout on it next turn. No, they are going to knock me out. That's what I thought. I thought that they would do that. So this is interesting. Um, and I guess I can do your opponent print all damage done to this Pokemon. So you can Guzma around Bright Tone. That's good to know as well. And they've only got two prizes remaining. We have to take a knockout here. That's just like, period got to take a knockout and then next turn we want to take a knockout as well on the gx that just might not happen so kind of tough uh, but i think that's uh it's just what we got to do i don't think it's bad my opponent's just gonna bright tone me again it's all bad all bad okay i can uh, let loose them that should be good and then i can also volkner so i can volkner we can get ourselves an ultra ball or i guess mysterious treasure is probably the best and i can get a ray oh where's my let loose where is he at is he in the discard pile where did he go he is in the discard pile with my rescue stretcher oh this is all bad okay this is this is bad guys this is really bad okay so let's get ourselves instead, uh, yikes, yikes, um, an Ultra Ball, I guess, ugh, this is bad, 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 all right, we're just going to get the Ultra Ball, that's the only card that we really can get, and then we can Mysterious Treasure away one of these Vika Volts, I suppose, just to get that other ray, we can't limit my opponent's hand at all, rough stuff, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll mill it, sure, we'll do that. Uh, ditch three cards. Cool. We'll get a lightning energy, I guess, from the discard pile. Then I'm going to slap one of these on there. And we'll strong charge. Sure. And I could throw two energy into play. I'm going to put a grass energy on the ray and a lightning energy on the Vika Volt. Uh, now that I just have an energy on the Vika Volt, I'm just feeling a little bit more substantial. And I can actually attack with a Vika Volt. So that's probably the game plan here is to take a hit. Oh, we've got Guzma. That's good. Uh, take a hit on this Rayquaza. I don't think he's knocking me out or anything. But the bad thing is, is that I don't have any way to limit my opponent's hand now. So if they just have Guzma, they have Guzma. And they're going to be able to just win, which is really tough. I can accelerate to this Lugia. Maybe Guzma knock out an Altaria next turn. But that's just bad news too. We definitely don't want to put ourselves in that boat. Uh, we're just uh, really, really kind of dealing with a tough situation here. So let's see. And they've got the two Altarias on the bench. They don't plan on putting another GX on the bench. They want to get this little lock going with the Bright Tone for sure. I have to just hope for back-to-back -back Guzmas. That's all I can do, really. I don't think that there's any other way around this. They're about to Bright Tone for 90, 110. About to Bright Tone for 110. The Altaria has got a retreat of one. So, so long as they have a energy in their hand and a Guzma, they will be able to pull it off. I think that we just, uh, like I said, probably go in with the Vika Volt here. That's probably what makes the most sense. But that is, uh, uh, that or we just Guzma. Tough call. Okay. So let's see, how many energy do I actually have left in the deck? So let's take a look at that number. Well, strong charge, I have one, two, three. I only have three energy left in deck, and that's it. I know that I do not get more than that. So I think I just have to hope for Guzma. I do have one Guzma left in deck. So let's just, uh, let's hope for the best then. Because I can't actually attack with my Vika Bolt. I kind of have to attack with the Shining Lugia here. Do I Guzma something up? Probably. Uh, let's see. I can throw three energy onto the Shining Lugia, Guzma up a Altaria, and knock out an Altaria. But then I don't have game. If I bring up the Vika Volt and I Electro Cannon the Altaria, I know that that's a bad play. That's not good. Sure. All right. We'll, we'll Strong Charge two of these, and we're going to throw them onto the Shining Lugia. That probably makes the most sense. And then uh, I guess I can attach from turn Guzma up this Altaria and hit into that, I suppose. Uh, it's probably the best scenario. I mean, that or I like switch and then do 90, but we know that that's not good. So we kind of have to just Guzma here. 
and hope that we draw out of it. I think, um, okay, just Ultra Balling away. I see if I have any. I don't think I have any Pokemon left in deck, but if I do, I want to bring it out of the deck. Increase my odds at drawing into that Guzma. I only got so many cards left in the deck, so we want to increase our chances there. Now we're going to Guzma up that Altaria. Sure, with Shining Lugia. Yikes, they probably got it. I don't I don't know. All right, let's just, just knock that thing out. Okay, and see how we do. Well played. They got it. Oh, no, they got the Guzma in their hand. They're just giving me the well played. They just got it there. Yikes, they promote the Altaria. They got it. No, our tournament run. It's all good. Not going to lie. I never, ever played against this deck before. So good game to my opponent. Tough stuff. Bright Tone is definitely a pain for my deck to deal with. So very cool. We got bested by an Altaria GX deck. Ah, it's all good. Uh, anyways, Vika Ray, last ride with Vika Ray before we head into Lost Thunder format here. Let's see, I got, uh, let's see, for top four, what did I get? Random standard booster times two and trainer tokens times 100. Okay, very cool. So I'm gonna leave the event. Excellent. But uh, yes, it was a lot of fun, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the tournament run there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of the pack openings as well. We got some pretty cool stuff in the Heart Gold Soul Silver packs. So uh, let me know what do you guys think of the upcoming Lost Thunder format. What decks are you all most excited about? in Lost Thunder. I'm going to be playing them in the upcoming week. Tabletops, PTCGO, all of that. Really, really stoked on it. Anyways, make sure to like the video, sub the channel, ring that bell. Let me know what do you guys think of Vika Ray in the upcoming Lost Thunder format. If you're looking for singles from Lost Thunder, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com. We just uploaded a bunch of stuff to the website, so make sure to go check that out as well. Peace.